as you can see we're gonna do Bertha today um, starts out in G uh, I had a request to do Bertha on one of my videos previous and uh, he said to do the skull and roses version but I had a buddy Tommy uh, point out this version it's a 32172 Academy music I believe it's Donna's first show but uh you can hear Bobby really good from the start of the show. I don't know why, but Bobby's turned up really loud. I'll, I'll play it for you. You can hear it. But uh, he does he does basically the same licks throughout these beginning years. Just a little bit different. But uh, I'll walk through it, and we'll go through the licks. A lot of single notes. Um, a lot of licks going behind Jerry, at, as usual, which is like every video. But uh, we'll go through it. See, that's, you can hear Bob really good. So this little, this little thing he's doing, this little bop, G, it's uh, the G right here. 10th, 9th, 12th, A, A 10th, D 9th, G 12th, and um, it's your middle finger, your ring finger, or your pinky finger, and your index finger. Pinky finger on the 12th, index finger on the 9th, middle finger on the 10th. It's a G. You can do this one too. But in this version, I, f I feel like I don't hear the... All right. Yeah, I don't really hear this. This little. So it's forward to major third. to the tenth on the D string. Sometimes he lands in this G just because of the riffs that he's doing, and then he'll go back to this one for the. That's the main one he does, is that little. But uh, sometimes he lands in that, and then you switch right back to the. So the, the G is this G is the C formation G, moved up, moved up to the tenth fret, and uh, this one is the the connector one. Like it's the, it's the one in between this and this. It doesn't have both of, it doesn't have, or it doesn't have, but it's just the, so it's kind of nice, nice little in-between one, and this little C, and then it goes to C, when I had a hard run, Jerry hits the C, when you do that, go C, C twice, bam, bam, and then you, so, um, slide up from the, from the five to the six, to the eight to the nine, from the no, on on the C, it's the five note to the six note to the eight, but it's on the twelfth and the tenth fret. Tenth to the twelfth. How I do it is with my ring finger, slide up, and then hit it with my index finger on the string below. And then when I'm on, when I'm there, I don't slide. I just hammer on. So it goes C, 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 on the A string, and then on the E string. So I'll go through that first one with you again. A little, a little bit 
bit different. He does the same little, but he goes, he bends up the, the nine. And then you're kind of playing these two notes together on the A and the D on the 10th. Because this is the top note of, top notes of this C going off on the. Kind of hits both of them, that Jimmy feel. this one today so instead of going like you would down here you're kind of doing it up here so slide up from the seventh or the eighth to the tenth on the A and then hit the G string on the ninth and then you slide that down too it's kind of the same little Just kind of hit this note, which is the. And then you do the one to four, one four, the seventh to the tenth on the D string, and then on the A string. That's how he does that one. So he does it up. So he bends. So he bends up the the flat nine to the nine. I'm sorry. Hold on. What was this? What would this be? Let's see. Oh, okay. So he's bending from the from the flat five to the five in this variation. kind of peel it back on on the on the D string hammer off and then uh, after that he goes go back up to this on the A string to the D and bend up the what would that be the nine these are all the little tricky bends all together so you can see the progression of the licks it's kind of hard to grasp I know but if you, you can rewind through my video and I'm, ho I'm hoping I'm explaining it slow enough if I'm not let me know if I'm flying through it too much but I'm hoping you guys can pick it up through these videos <laughs>
chorus part when you go when you end the verse. Um, instead of going, kind of sit on this. And then slide when you go, that little, slide that up. So then it makes it like a G sharp. It's G sharp sus4, because that's what you're emphasizing. And then you go into the D. <laughs> Whichever way you want to do it in this G too. Kind of just emphasize the sus4 note and then slide the G up one. So then the two notes that I'm playing are on the 11th and the 13th, but then I'm hammering on the 10th to the 11th. D. A minor. This, this A minor right here where it's a... Uh, um, middle finger G string on the 10th. And then on the 9th, it's the index finger on the on the G string. I'm sorry, this, this middle finger is the D string. Index finger is the G string. And the ring finger is the B string, A minor chord. So. G, C, D, this little, back to this G. And then C, D, same formation. C, G, D, C, that same A minor. C, G, back to the, back to the verse. And the second verse is a little different. He does the, he does the, a couple of different licks. Same concept, but I feel like he's, he does it down here. Before he was messing around, I feel... around up here but now I feel like he's gonna go down here same 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 notes just different different section of the guitar I feel like just to emphasize okay now I'm in a different slot doing kind of the same licks but it's gonna feel a little bit different and come out a little different because I'm in a different spot so we'll go through it right there yeah so yeah see he's, he's kind of staying on the same. So he goes. So he goes. From the five to seven. A string to D string. And then you do it again. And then instead of going, you go. And then you bend up. A lot of palm muting too. If, if you can get it, get that in there, he kind of like climbs up to the note that he's doing. certain version this isn't how he does in every version but in this certain version I'm just kind of walking you through it but there's notes that he hits so he goes and then he just sits there for a second and then he goes hits this note twice bends it bends up the what is that the, the nine bends up that nine again not too much but go back into the so that first riff is like that let's go through it oh sorry I wasn't ready And 
then it goes down down the strings on the B string. So it's four, nine, six. So it's like a little Jimmy. All these are little rolls. I feel like they're Jimmy rolls. They, he, they get this from Jimmy. Jimmy's the king of that, and Bob's kind of just emphasizing that they're listen. That's showing his influence. So yeah, that one is like a. From the this the B sus four and then the, the five to the seven and then he kind of sits on this I feel like he does, he starts down here, and then he switches to this, instead of going to easily slide into this, this part of, I guess that would be part of G, kind of sliding, it's like a, emphasizing the, the G note in C. C, but he slides up to the B note, but I feel like it's because this this is part of G. Hmm. Okay, so maybe he just slides up into this, this C. So he switches his fingers right there to the C, and then he does this, the, that lick after. So this little slide from the third to the fifth on the on the G string. Hit the B string and then go on the G string up to the ninth and then because this is the bottom part of C. Finishes by doing, and then this little. Okay, going, but not going, going. Kind of bending up the flatness. He likes his little bends. He doesn't. He doesn't do too many in this version. He does a lot of, a lot of bends. when he's showing you by that by going playing the top okay so then yeah so so the first one he climbs up to it and then the last one he climbs and sits on it again. So, so 
that one right there, I feel like you can hear him go. Kind of hammers on the C. You can either do or. But you can hear when he's going versus. I feel like that one, he just did it. He just did this one. Right there it goes. And I feel like we're, right here Bob was expecting Jerry to start soloing so he kind of sticks to the chords and what he's choosing to do is the little C, C to F, little you do to the sus4 but it's kind of like the whole F chord. So it'd be like. So he's kind of he's sticking to the chord right there. He goes. So he does it. That one it sounds like he's playing pretty pretty bassy. Might be doing this little. Right here, I feel like he's just doing the... To kind of emphasize that now Jerry's soloing and doing his flurry, so now it's time for Bob to stick on the chords. C, hyper pinky, hit the six on the twelve. You can also do the little that we were doing.
So let's hammer on it. Basically the song ends like that, they go into the, they do the chorus a couple times and they do the anymore, you just sit on this, anymore, 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 right into good loving but yeah i'll do that lesson coming up soon but thanks so much for making it through this video and watching them i appreciate all the support you guys are giving us um more to come thanks for watching